guys welcome back my name is singita mehta and you're watching my channel my english magazine today i explain to you direct speech and uh, indirect speech my name is singita mehta and you're watching my channel my english magazine we often uh, have to give information about what people say or think in order to do this we can use direct or quoted speech or indirect or reported speech direct speech saying exactly words what someone has said to called direct speech sometimes called quoted speech here what a person says appears within quoted marks in what it commas open and close and full stop and should be word for word exactly as it was originally said for examples yeah what is direct and indirect speech we often have to give information about what people say or think in order to do this we can use direct or quoted speech or indirect or reported speech direct speech direct speech saying exactly what someone has said is called direct speech sometimes called quoted speech here what a person says appears with the quotation quotation marks in what it comma begins and in what it comma close and uh, should be word for word exactly as it was originally said now i give the example she said today's lesson is on presentations or today's lesson is on presentation in what it comma close she said she said comma in what it comma begins today today's lesson is on presentation in what it comma close or in what it comma begin today's lesson is on presentations in what it comma close she said in direct speech now what's happened with indirect speech i am explain to you indirect speech is someone is uh, someone's called reported speech or narration doesn't use quotation marks to enclose what the person said and it doesn't doesn't have to be word for word thus in indirect speech we convey the speaker's message in our own words when reporting speech the tense usually change this is because when we use reported speech thank you thank you very much